Hey everybody, Tough Rabbit here. Um, this is going to be the first in a series of um, doing mods to orb weavers, razor orb weavers, and maybe eventually other devices, but I've done enough of these, uh, mostly adding analog sticks, and I've had people ask me for instructions, and so I figured just the next one I do, I would try to record as much of it as possible. So this... This video is going to be disassembly, and what we're doing, the goal here is to replace this D-pad, this clicky four-way D-pad or eight-way D-pad or whatever it is, to a, um analog stick, which I've got here. Um, this actually is already one that I've wired up and done um, for a previous customer or client of mine, friend of mine, and i put it in a N52 Nostromo and he got an orb weaver and now he wants it in an orb weaver. So I ripped this out of the Nostromo and we're going to drop it in here. And really the joystick and the software on this Teensy is the same regardless of the device you put it in for the most part. So this is very reusable. And for this disassembly, really all you need is um, I have these two little tiny screwdrivers, one Phillips head, one one flat head and you really don't need the flat head so much um, and it really it's to get this plate this face plate off which is honestly a pain in the butt um, to do it without damaging it um, I have another tool that I like to use for this on occasion that I may dig around and find an exacto knife would also work but we'll get around to that in a little bit. So the first thing you do to get this side module is just take it off the unit. So um, there's a few ways you can do this. Um, but I mean I like to just I like to just uh, undo the screws here and take it off so it's easy. Oh and by the way I use these old Tic Tac containers to drop screws in. That's essential because there are so many small parts on these things. And that's from a previous project. I've got a few of these because orange Tic Tacs are life, right? So this just goes to the side and I drop all the screws in there. You probably won't see it, it won't be in frame, but you'll hear it. So just these three right here, we'll start with that. Um, there's more under here. We can just go ahead and peel this off. This rubber foot just comes right off. And uh, there it is. I just normally, I stick it to the side of the Tic Tac thing so I don't lose it. And then uh, there's one, two, three screws here, and then under this film, there's one, and there's uh, and there's two, and on this side, uh, oh, you can't see it as well, but right there is another screw, um, and it holds in this uh, spring and ball, uh, ball bearing, and what that does is because there are graduated steps on this metal arm inside this channel. For adjustment so if I use this mechanism there's a spring in there and that ball and it makes it slide and click and holds it in place so you really got to be careful when you take this off so you don't lose that it's honestly um, a real pain in the butt I've lost them before and had to dig around and find them on the on the floor and it's just ugly but these screws just these screws just come off it's not a big deal and I'm kind of sad that that film didn't come off with the rubber foot, but it's okay. It'll come off in a minute. All right, just trying to loose it a little bit. So I've got that, I've got these screws loose. Now what I can do is I can slip this This flathead right here, and kind of pry, peel this up, and so that's gonna, it's got a, this has got a spring on it, so it's gonna, it's gonna fall off. 
but that's fine. So we just carefully pull this up through the film so it doesn't... Um, wow, I guess the camera decided to darken because it's not it's daylight, whatever. I think you guys can still see. And I just lost the screw on the floor. Hold on. Got it. Wasn't being near careful enough. So I'm going to put my thumb over that so I don't lose the other ones. And I think I lost a screw inside. That's okay because we're taking this whole thing apart. So now I've got this. Uh... Don't worry too much about the film. You can glue this that rubber foot back down. I just use rubber cement because it, it, it holds really well. Rubber cement holds arguably better, and it also can be peeled off easy, and it's reusable. So don't worry too much about the, the losing the sticky or losing this film. It's really not essential. I just throw it away. Go in there. So I'm just getting these screws out, and I am putting them in my Tic Tac container. So now you've got this. Just put it to the side. Don't lose it. Um, and now you have this whole mechanism here. Well, this thing should just slide off. That's the side module. It's off. And then you can slide this guy off and put it to the side. And underneath here, you can see the spring that was inside of this guy right here. Just put it to the side. So now you've got the side module off. It's still connected via this wire, and we're going to pull this wire off on the inside in just a moment. But now, for the next part, there are there's a screw here, um, and then there's this screw there that holds that ball bearing spring in place. So we're just going to... Pull that guy off, put it in the Tic Tac container, and then this guy down here. Uh, you can't see it so well. There it is in the light, but we're just taking that off. I think that went inside the unit. <laughs> it's really, oh, no, there it is. It's really okay because we're taking this whole thing apart. So anything that goes inside, honestly, is better than going on the floor. So now this. Wow, I need to, this camera is auto-adjusting the light pretty uh, regularly, and it's annoying. I'm sorry, guys. Uh, now, this thing can be, uh, this plastic thing can be pried up carefully because there are tabs that can break, so just be gentle. This is one of the things that you do want to be gentle on. The rest of this is actually pretty sturdy. You don't have to worry about it so much. But, uh, oh, look, there's the spring. I'm guessing the ball, the ball fell out. You know what? We're just going to pull that out and put that in the Tic Tac container. Boom. Preserved. Um, the bad part about this piece is that you have to be gentle with it so you don't rip the tabs, but it, they're also quite stiff. So it's this fine line of using enough force to get it up without um, without damaging anything. There it goes. So this whole thing came out. Put it to the side. You don't need it for right now. Just don't lose it. Now, we've got one more screw right there but it's at an angle, so I'm going to come like this. All right. So now, those are all the screws on the bottom. Now, for the really crappy part of this, is uh, this surface here. There are three screws under here that you need to get at. When Razor first made the Orb Weavers, this was a 
rather thick, like aluminum plate, and it was gr a lot easier to work with. Um, you didn't have to be so careful. Now it's a rather thin plastic film, and it's really easy to mar it. And so uh, you have to be careful. So what I've done um, in the past is I have pulled it off and ruined it and then carved a custom one out of uh, countertop material. You go to Lowe's and get the countertop samples, and you can actually cut them up and carve them with the Dremel. And it's not that bad. But we are going to go with the um, X-Acto knife, and I'm going to try not to cut up my fingers. And the easiest way to do it, I'm sorry, the, it, there is no easy way, but the easiest way is to try to get up underneath one of these corners here I'm trying to get my fingers out of the way and you just kind of work it and so that's coming and you just work it around so here I'm trying not to break the uh, the the knife blade and I'm trying not to bend up or mar this panel too badly I'm also trying not to cut my fingers up. And I'm also trying not to cut up the, the plastic material underneath. <laughs> so there's a lot of I'm trying not to's while I am trying to get it up. It's kind of annoying. It's actually really annoying. And actually, I do believe that this is the cleanest I've ever done this. So this may be an older orb weaver. I'm not sure where my customer, where my, my buddy, my client, the guy that I'm doing this mod for, I'm not sure where he got this from or how long he's had it, but this feels like it might be an older unit that has the metal plate, which would be just super fantastic. And see, I slipped and kind of scratched it a little bit. Sorry, buddy. I will touch that up with some paint if I can, but that's just the cost of doing this. This is such a pain in the butt. I have cut myself up badly doing this in the past before, and it's just gross. There it goes. Here it comes. Well, I'm just going to go back down and stick. Oh. Yep. This is either... Get it in the camera. This is either um, an older orb weaver that had the metal plate, or they have razor has gone back to this. I really I'm gonna have to ask him and see where he got this from. If he bought this new or bought it used, but that's this is much easier to work with and it's just better. The downside is that to get the joystick to fit, you have to kind of cut around this plastic, which I'll show you in a in, a, in, a, in another video. You got to cut around that. Uh, and so you also have to cut into this. You have to make the same notches into this this hole here. And I'm looking for the top. There it is, to the exacto knife. Because my children come back here and they will cut themselves. So I'm sorry for video quality, guys. This is my first go trying to do this. Um, I will probably do manual i think the problem with my camera is that it's set to auto everything and i will do some manual adjustment so that the lighting is consistent and the focus is maybe a little bit better or maybe i'll get a um a proper harness for my phone my phone camera is way i have a nexus 6p phone and the camera on that would just be so much better than this 720p skype web camera um it's not horrible but it um i i'm looking at it and i can tell that it's it's only okay. Only okay might be might be generous. <laughs> Anyways, but I think that this it's good enough for you guys to see how to actually disassemble these things. Anyways, uh, there's the three screws on top, and you just uh, this is the same screw type. You just pull them out. Oop. 
and uh, we're gonna put it in the tic tac. The tic tac holder of tiny things. Thank you, tic tacs. Whoever makes those, I don't know who makes that. Uh oh, I just lost the ball bearing or something on the floor. I heard it fall out of the casing. So, word to the wise. Pro tip. I'm lazy, so I didn't do this, but normally I do this inside of a small cardboard box so I don't lose any small pieces. I'm not doing it right now because I'm f not following my own advice, and that's a mistake. So I'm going to have to find that ball once I'm done with the video. Anyway, so that a little arm just comes up, and boom, it all comes apart. This can just go to the side. So now... you've got the internals of the side module. This is the bottom, this is the bottom of the D-pad. This is the bottom of that upper, um, upper button above it. And this is the LED array right here. Um, so I'm gonna continue disassembly until we're finished. This is, there's not much left to do. One screw. Two screws. Three screws. Put them in the tic-tac box. And we're about to get to the part, the third difficult part of disassembly and arguably reassembly. There's three things. So obviously the first thing is keeping up with small pieces. That's the first important, really annoying thing. Uh, the second thing was that plate peeling, plate prying. And the third thing is this thumb lever, getting this off without breaking anything. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, super fun. So really what you're trying to do is manage kind of pulling this, this plate off here. And then it's much easier just try to slide it out from under. Oh, that's really annoying. It comes, it just takes some doing. Boom, it's out. Then you can just pull that out as well. And that just kind of flops to the side. And actually, if you're careful, you can unplug it and just totally put it to the side. Be careful so you don't bend any pins. So now you've got this whole d-pad assembly this will be the next video disassembling this you have to desolder some posts i'll show you how to do that um but and you just put this to the side don't lose it you need it later um and then back to here um, it's easier if you just also pull this out this plug out of the led array it's kind of a pain to get back in, but you can disassemble it and do it. I'll show you how to do that when we get to reassembly. This is probably going to be a three or four video series on orb modification. Um, if we ever get to, if I ever get another unit for uh, doing switch modification, I'll show you. There we go. It's completely disassembled. I'm gonna leave this here for now. Oftentimes I'll I'll take this thumb lever off, but it's a really pain in the butt, so I'll just leave it for now. That's it, disassembled. Um, I'll have a next video shortly with uh, working with this, prepping this D-pad assembly for uh, joystick placement, and uh, yeah, that'll be next. Thanks for watching. Hope this helps you.